Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm designer of Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. So, I'm still doing some more tests on the 3D Invisible Paint. Um, this paint's going to be used, and it's not it's not going to be for sale, sorry. It's going to be used for some customized screens that we're designing, that we're going to be selling at another outlet. And we're going to be uh, designing uh, something new, a lot, uh, something different than what you see in everyday uh, screens. So, uh, the chemical that we're using right now is a form of, uh, it's going to has to be sprayed on. Uh, it does not work well if you try to use a paint roller or a brush or anything else, it just doesn't work well. Um, it, you can actually apply it with it, but you, you don't get so much of a smooth uh, surface. So let me show you what's on the aluminum so you guys can see it. A piece of here close. And you can see that it has a film on it. And that's the chemical right there that causes the uh, 3D reaction. Uh, it only works well if you use it on uh, aluminum and steel, which I'm planning to get a piece of a uh, sheet, sheet of steel tomorrow for some tests, some more testing. But it works well with this. So let me put that for a minute. And this is what's coated on this right here. So I'll zoom in on the camera so you can see that it has a a um, a uh, solution on the uh, aluminum. All right, so I'm going to remove the can I have in front of the projector. So you can see how the paint reacts with the, uh... So I got this on pause for a minute. Let's see what's going on here. There we go. Let me get this camera straight out of the way. Now what you're seeing is that, uh, and that in the middle, that's due to the fact that there are some folds in the uh, aluminum. Uh, once I get um, a sheet of a steel, or not steel, but a sheet of a um, sheet metal, it'll work a lot better. Because it'll be a flat, straight surface. But it does, the um, invisible 3D paint does work. And we're doing this in a fully lit room on a 300 lumen projector. And the reason why um, I like using the steel or aluminum screens because they reflect a lot of light. So they work extremely well uh, with the new chemical. Get the angle gain right here. And let's hit the overhead lights. And it is really cool. It does work with uh, basic polarized glasses. The color is magnificent. So you have to use it with a paint sprayer. It does leave a form of imperfection onto the screen. So um, I say I'm try using a foam roller tomorrow, but I'm definitely going to be using a paint sprayer soon. As soon as I get my hands on one. Well, Kenneth Bird from Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. I hope y'all enjoyed this video demonstration. Uh, the new product won't be out for some time. It still needs a lot more testing. I'd like to thank you all for watching.